god, this realm really does take forever to load in now that it's so big. Hey guys. What's up? Young Gaja here. Young Gaja, Sage Gaja, don't matter. Uh, but today we're going to be doing a real survival episode. And this is going to be episode 2. And I do have an idea for this video. And this video is going to be kind of long. Because... Well, one, I gotta show you some stuff that I did, because I haven't recorded a real survival video in, like, a week to two weeks, I don't know. I've just been mostly playing MW3. The thing I'm gonna be building today is, a basically an underground, like, ancient temple, and it's gonna be Sam's house. But I just really wanna build it, because I really like the idea, and so, as we come to this farm, right next to the water border... Or the wall, it's as it's known. We have these massive kelp farms. Pretend that this thing, this kelp is growing straight up. As soon as it sends a block update to this observer, it's going to activate pistons down there. And all it activates, I have redstone wiring going under all the way around all the pistons down there. And then in hoppers, which you can kind of see right up there. As you can see, it's kind of getting laggy right now. But the hoppers up there take it. And then it comes here to smelt. Um, and then down once it's finished smelting, it piles up here. And uh, I have kid here for about six hours, and this is how much it produced. So this is a pretty good farm. And it's not done being like decorated. Because I pretty much, like, I don't really need to. Because the only time I'm ever down here, because this is a completely AFK farm. The only time I'm ever down here, I'm in this minecart so I can go AFK and just leave it on, like, all, on all night. Well, speaking of that, I gotta, look, hate when that thing goes. But as we can see... It was built on the 18th and fully automated on the 19th. All right. So this, what you're looking at, is a gold farm, and the gold farm has been here even when I did the um, world tour because it was just so far out here, and it was only the gold farm, and it wasn't working at the time. For some reason, these pigmen just weren't spawning. I could not tell you why that was. But then, the realm was down for a day or two. How the hell did a real zombie get up there? That should not happen. But the realm was down for a day or two. And me and Gage played on single player. And as soon as I came over here on single player, it started to spawn pigmen. So I think that's what it was. I had a, It just wasn't spawning them at first for some reason. But as we can see, we got some pretty good rates. Okay. Look at all this gold. Oh my god, bro. These guys are annoying. And then, I gotta take all that stuff home, because I really did just build that. And then right here is an automatic bamboo farm. So I just gotta stay around here a bit more, because I'm also gonna build an automatic sugarcane farm. Because I really need that. And I know sugarcane, there's a way to do an almost zero tick. But it's not. But this redstone is actually pretty easy. Once again, utilizing uh, observers. But with this other side, you got to make sure that this slime block is a slime block. Not It can't just be cobblestone because you need the slime block to shoot it out that way. And I could have made this a lot bigger. And a lot taller. But, you know, and I seriously did just finish this yesterday as well. Meow.
But here at Kaler's house, Sam Irwin is building down below here. This is what we dug out so far. It's supposed to be like a cave down. I might have to do some work on the ceiling. Make it more like a cave. And then I'm going to make it so there's a mossy temple right in the middle. So let's start doing this. So I want to make this go a lot more, a, a lot farther straight. Now. Now we gotta mine all this shit out. Oh man. I have a vision. And it is coming to fruition. That kind of sounds nice. I have a vision and it's coming to fruition. Alright, anyways. So far, so good. Alright, so I got this side done now. I just gotta mine out the other side. I see exactly how it's going to work. And then I'm just gonna, uh, I gotta get more, gotta get so much more water, dude. Okay, so we got both sides completely mined out. Now I just gotta fill it in so it looks like a river. And these two have got, are meeting under too, which is, look how much water that is going to be. Everything's filled with water. This looks nice in here. Uh, but now I'm gonna add detail to everything and make it look more like a cave. That's some detail on the actual floor. Now that I don't know if I already said this. Now that we got the bottoms of the rivers decorate like detailed we are gonna do a top we're gonna make the rest look like a cave all right so that's even this walkway done now with the cave detail or like cave pattern I should say uh, maybe we get rid of that too yeah all I gotta do is do the wall the sides of this Alright guys, so this is the sides finished with the cave detail. Um, in the next episode I will be, or maybe I might even do this off stream, but next time I will be extending it this way because the temple is about to start soon and I gotta dig a lot out for that. That's mainly why I haven't been like, putting all the detail into this is because I know I have to dig all that out to make the temple I'm going to extend and I'm going to extend this out uh, all right so I think it looks pretty good uh god I need to sneeze there so bad but I think it looks good for now uh, you gotta cover up a few spots, like right there. Alright, so this is completely detailed with the cave, and I will not be working on the cave anymore. Maybe I'll flatten that out or something, add more, a little more detail to that, but... Yeah. This is what it looks like now, from before. Uh, I definitely think it turned out really good.